Hello! The book of the Acts of the Apostle, which you might know, is which is the second part of a larger narrative uh, that began in the Gospel according to Luke. This biblical book begins essentially with what is co commonly called Jesus' Assumption. And in Roman Catholic and Orthodox tradition, this feast, this day is celebrated because it highlighted Christ's glory and power. But in mainline tr Protestant churches, it is usually less important. Maybe because this day, this feast, this holiday does not fall on a Sunday morning. Or maybe because it's a little, a little more difficult to accept especially in this 21st century. Already the resurrection is kind of hard to swallow. Jesus was dead and three days later is alive again. Okay, it's a corner stone of her fate. But Jesus flying in the sky like, like a bird, like a rocket, and going where? In space, around the earth. It's, it's very difficult to wrap her to, 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 to get this in her head, to wrap her mind around this. But I still like this story, mostly for what happened after Jesus' departure. The text tells us that the disciple kept looking at the sky as if something would happen, as if Jesus would send them some sort of message. And then two men shows up. And ask them, why are you looking up? Meaning, what are we waiting for you? What are, what are you waiting for? Don't you have something else to do? And yes, <laughs> the disciple had something else to do. And they knew it. But probably they did not know how to do it, where to start. Because up to this point... Jesus was in charge. Jesus was calling the shot. But now he's not there. So they were lost. And for the first time, they had to make a decision by themselves. And still today, the temptation is still great to... Look to for look to look for answer from heaven. Wait for someone else to tell us what to do, what to believe, how to behave. And when it's not happening, we sometimes feel lost. We wish to have more answer. We wish for someone else to make difficult call because let's be honest it's easier to be a spectator than someone involved in our world but in some situation there's a need for action there's a need for leadership there's a need for decision making and not always looking for someone else to do it for herself there's time when we need to try something by ourselves, even if it means that we might make a mistake or might not get it right on the first attempt. Still, do it, try, see, learn from her for herself. And the disciple made that decision. They decided to go back to Jerusalem and waiting waiting for, as will happen later, the coming of the Holy Spirit. And this is still an inspiration for us. For us to stop, inspiration telling us to stop looking for someone or something to guide us. And 
take ownership of our lives, of our decisions, of our choices, and be part of this world, being be part of the solution. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for being there. And until next time, I remain the electionary man, Reverend Stefan Vermette. Take care. I see you soon. Bye-bye.